gallery wall. As posh as it may sound, it doesn't have to break the bank. And as gorgeous as it looks, it's easier to put together than you might think. I too have a gallery wall, not only because it looks gorgeous in my small living room, but also to serve as a visual demarcation, drawing a clear line between my living area and my dining area. For my gallery wall, I think of it as a montage that expresses what's important to me. Memories and stories from people I love and things that matter to me. Favorite out of all this artwork here, which is the pictures of my parents' wedding. <laughs> my mother kind of hated it, but I love it. Look at the expression. This is a picture of my baby Shiro and painted by my sister. Here he is. To create a gallery wall, I will begin using my TV and sound bar as a focal point. Just a quick shout out, we want to say thank you Samsung for sponsoring this video. You watch a lot of movies at home, so having a great sound system is of course crucial for the experience. Well, usually sound bar is pretty thick and black, and it's totally ruined the interior, but with the Samsung Ultra Slim sound bar, it's just so slick and blends into the space so well. And it adds such a delightful touch gently softening the appearance of the wall and it can be easily matched with any TV. The Ultra Slim soundbar also comes with black or white and I can customize the skin for the soundbar to suit Samsung the frame and also my interior. Perfect. There is no special trick to how to arrange everything on the wall. We need to get to know a few guiding rules when it comes to displaying art in the gallery wall style. A good rule of thumb if you're hanging a single big artwork, make sure it's around 140 to 160 centimeters off the ground. Since I wanted to incorporate my TV into my gallery wall, I used Samsung the frame as the starting point for designing my gallery wall. The best way is to work sidewards and upwards from there, and the distance between each artwork should be about 10 to 20 centimeters apart, so they still feel connected but not congested and I will have a cabinet below my TV as well. For visual balance, it is best to have the TV about 20 to 30 centimeters above the cabinet. The TV should be about two thirds of the cabinet's length to create a visual balance that brings comfort to our human eyes. It doesn't have to be precise. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you stick to these few basic rules, the gallery wall will come alive. There's pretty much you need to know, and you're welcome. And to make decisions about arranging my gallery wall, I use old newspaper to cut out the shape of each artwork. I trace the frame of the artwork, cut it out. Make sure I mark where the nail is gonna go behind the artwork. Maybe we can draw the arrow so we know which side is facing up. and repeat, trace, cut, and mark. And then this is the fun part. I arrange this cutout on the wall and experiment with different compositions. After a few good hours of deliberation, or the equivalent of a few good dog days, I worked out how I want my gallery wall to be, and now let's get our hands dirty. My weapon of choice for my gallery is this humble hammer, which has followed me for the last decade or so. And for me, I prefer nails rather than picture hooks. First, make a dent on the wall with a nail, 45 degree angle, and hammer down gently, yet with enough force to push this little guy in the wall. Hang, and level. And what if you made a mistake? Simply pull the nails out and do it again. I have an age old trick up my sleeve, toothpaste. Apply toothpaste to the mistake hole and move on with life. If you are feeling a bit fancy, you can use one of these multi-purpose filler that you can get from your local hardware store. That will do toothpaste. That would do.
halfway through, and my gallery wall is really starting to take shape. Let's talk about the Frame TV. It's designed to look like a slim picture frame in your living room, and it comes in various color options designed to suit any space as well as the fickle taste of someone like myself. And today, I will use the Sango bezel. The slim wall mount and one connect box allow the TV to sit flush against the wall, keeping the surrounding space tidy and seamlessly blending into any interior design. The dock is not included. There are more than 2,100 artworks to choose from to display on the frame. When the TV is off, the matte display makes the art look very much like real art with a picture frame. And when the TV is on, it is anti-glare. Well, Nam, the quality is really out of this world. Carl, stop watching the TV. He's got to finish the wall. The Ultra Slim Soundbar from Samsung is perfect match for the frame. With the world's first wireless Dolby Atmos, you can enjoy surround system without running a cord to your TV. And the true 3.1.2 channel sound create a more immersive sound experience for a complete home entertainment. The Q Symphony, which is Samsung's leading technology that will play sound from both Samsung Soundbar and Samsung TV speakers at the same time, creates excellent surround sound experience as it adds more depth and clarity. It sounds so real, your neighbour might be surprised thinking you are keeping a lion as a pet when you're watching a wildlife documentary. Well, maybe that's a little too exaggerating. By now, my gallery wall is finally done. But now the TV cabinet seems a little too small underneath the frame. Remember the two-third rules to achieve the visual balance? You can extend the length of the TV cabinet visually by adding a few plants here and a few plants there. And I also use the Ultra Slim soundbar as the shelf for my little figurines. Multipurpose, I hear you say. Books, check. Citrus for extra vitamin C, check. Banana lamp, check. And my favorite secondhand chair, check. And finally, a pear pillow as a delicious garnish. And here, my friend, is my gorgeous little heaven on earth. The great thing about a gallery wall is that you can always rearrange it to refresh your small living space. Or even swap artwork with friends or family to get a new look and feel. And for more tips and tricks on how to style your small living room, go download our essential guide to your small living room today. And don't forget to check out Samsung's The Frame and Ultra Slim Soundbar to complement your beautiful home. Links in the description. Till next time, ciao!